welcome to I Heart Reviewing stuff. So I'm going to open up a LOL Surprise Limited Edition Year of the Ox. Um, unfortunately, Target, they didn't separate these. Um, they have the same DPCI. And so uh, the listing says like doll or pet. I ordered two, hoping that that would maybe be a good hint to whoever, you know, boxes it that they would grab me the doll and the pet but they didn't um so i have two pets but luckily i did go to customer service online on target and like ask like what are my options since like i really would like to try to get the doll and so they did actually offer they are sending a replacement um is what they i guess called it so i can keep these two pets but they're sending me two more from this listing hopefully one of those will be the doll um because honestly my stores don't have these and i don't know if they will because like i never saw the spooky sparkle ones um <clears throat> in store like at walmart or target i saw other people post but i honestly like never saw them and i'm pretty good at spotting stuff so I don't know if my stores will get these or not. There's the, oops, it'll focus the UPC for you if you need it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to open that. Also, I want to, um, so this in the background is our current stash of things to eventually get to. I don't know about Ki Rainbow High Kia Heart. I might be saving for Valentine's Day. I haven't really made up my mind because she was $40 and I was really disappointed in the price point. Cause I thought she'd be like $26.99. Um, so I'm just kind of undecided um, if we'll unbox her earlier or not. <clears throat> she is really pretty. I'm impressed with like her hair. Her fashions do look cool. But I really, I just don't see anything in her box. <clears throat> Sorry, let me take a drink. Anything in her box that makes her worth so much more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and so then I got Cave Club Raquel on Amazon. She's kind of hard to find. She's the one that typically comes with the big dinosaur. And I didn't really want the big dinosaur. Plus they charge like, I don't know, $36.99. Sometimes she's on sale. I think I saw like $27.99 as the cheapest. So I did have to pay $15.99, which is a little... Higher than usual for Cave Club, because usually they're about like, I don't know, $10 or so, I think at Walmart, but I don't think Walmart has this specific one that I want just the doll. <laughs> I had to do that with Bashley as well. Um, so yeah, we have Raquel over there. I know some people, you're either into Cave Club or you're not. Um, I think they're really cute and colorful. I don't mind that they don't come with shoes. I don't know, I think Mattel did a really a uh, good job on them. I think, I mean, to me, I'm, I think they're cute, but it's not for everyone. <laughs> and then we unboxed Rebel Dare on our channel uh, yesterday. We still got Carmen Linda and Samantha Smarty to unbox. Um, and then she did Coco Von Sparkle. Uh, we didn't uh, do a video for that, but you can see pictures on our Instagram. And then also I have found new pixies at Target. Eh, they're going to fall over. Um, my store only had two. So here's some of the girls. I think we're going to, I think this one is in ours. Uh, you can kind of see, see the purple glittery hairdo in the back. So I think it's her. Because you can kind of see their, um, I think it's fabric wings. Uh, so you can kind of see the design. So at least if you want to collect all six, it, I don't think it's going to be too hard. Um, and then of course these ones always have different eggs for who you're going to get. I believe this is this one's egg. Um, I actually thought she was probably the rare, but now I'm not so sure because it says this is the wildest chase for Starlight Samara and her unicorn glider. And then so we have, so they did give her a different name, but they have the exact same hairdo. This is Starlight Sophie and Unicorn Glider. Um, but again, we're probably just gonna stick with the one I bought. I don't really collect when they have like the same hairdo, but it's just in a different color. 
So like the first series had 10 to collect. We collected eight. We did the two special editions. My store just didn't have her egg or I probably would have figured it out. Um, so we will probably get Magical Mail and Chic Claire and Rhythm Rachel. Eventually my store only had, I think, three of these and I just got one for now because they're $15. Um, so they're eh, a little bit pricey. Um, and then these I think are $9.99. Sometimes you can find the older series on sale. Uh, and then we are <clears throat> doing a giveaway on our Instagram. So that's why I have Fresh and Genie um, from Series 3 All-Stars over here. Just so I can show you guys an example. So I have one from each team. I've got a pink. So this is where we got Genie. So this is from the same box. So this is not going to be Genie. And a friend actually shared weights with me. And so I did weigh these. So... I think it's Miss Punk in this one. I mean, I could be wrong. You never uh, know. Oh, no, wait. Not Miss Punk. This is fancy, I think. This weighed 103, and actually, supposedly, Genie weighs like 103. So, never mind. Correction. This is probably fancy. I did try to flashlight test two for these, but one is like white, and one is like a pearly white. So, I don't know. I had trouble like really telling. Um, okay, so this one I think is Miss Punk, because this one actually weighs 103 too, which is like, what are the odds that both of the ones I set aside for the giveaway have the same weight? I believe Kix is like 107, Jitterbug is like 110, and Touchdown is the heaviest at like 119 or so grams. So I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get Kix. I forget what Fresh's weight is. I apologize for that. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, and then even the pink ones. I don't know what Miss uh, Punk is. I only know Genie is like 103. And then this one that I have set aside was 103. So I think it's fancy. Uh, but I forget the other ones on the pink team. Like I don't know Foxy or whoever else is in it. <laughs> um, okay. So... Um, so yeah, I think it's Fancy in the pink and Miss Punk in the green. Those are my guesses anyway, based on their weights. But if you follow us on Instagram, feel free to go enter our giveaway because I know you can't comment on YouTube, um, but I figured I'd announce it on here just in case there's anyone who's like, oh, well, I want to enter that because it is international um, this time since we finally were able to get enough uh, watch hours and subscribers so that we're able to be monetized and we've made a little bit of money uh, last year so I did want to make uh, an international giveaway since usually I do US only just because shipping is so expensive so yeah I've got a pink and a green team well I call it green some people are calling it blue so uh but anyway so I'll show Jeannie Jeannie was actually the only one we needed on the pink team I think it's like sweet princess and flower child maybe or something on the pink team we already had like all of the pink team except for we had no genie and marissa has her bunny and she's been a favorite of marissa's for quite some years so i was really excited that like we just got really lucky and got a uh, genie and i think she's really well done and cute so genie is the goalie so she comes with this little piece um the like a net she comes with little goalie gloves and they will fit on her hands. Marissa just prefers her without them. And then she came with little glasses. So Fresh is the, um, what, referee? I don't know much about soccer, but these are really cute. I'm more of a baseball person. Uh, but uh, Fresh has a little whistle and she has, I guess they throw the referee, um, because baseball it's umpire, so I don't think that's called that at all. Um, so she has this little mild warning and spicy warning, like yellow and red flags. I thought that was really cute. Um, and then the back of her head is a soccer ball. So she wasn't on our wish list, but we're fine that we got her. And at least I do know that in the green team, if I want to get us one of the players, I'm going to go for touchdown because I know she's going to weigh like, way more than any of the others and I do have a little kitchen scale so 
Touchdown might uh, be our only other one that I might bother to get. I can live without Jitterbug, even though we have her bunny too. Um, so she would be a good one uh, to get. And then Kicks, I don't know. I think we can live without Kicks, even though Kicks is the only original soccer player. So we've got a cute little flower uh, on here. Ah, my zipper broke. Ooh. Oh, it's still breaking. Okay. Eee! I think the wrapping on these is really uh, cute. Um, and then I've seen these unboxed already on Instagram and the ball, like the little ornament ball these come in is also really cute. So let me see. Eh, it's almost kind of like that wrapping that they glue down, which I don't know why they do that sometimes. Uh, so it makes it a little harder to get this off. Eventually I would hope that LOL maybe would do away with all this plastic um and just kind of switch it up and put these in i mean those astrology ones and present ones were in uh cardboard and had the tissue paper which was nice so i kind of wish they could do that for everything else um so it's really pretty sparkly red ball oh good okay it'll have a little foot stand you don't really need those much for the pets but they come in handy for the dolls, this is really cool. Um, very Lunar New Year. Little envelope. How cute is that? So you can keep that for some little something, I think. I don't think there's anything in here. I'm just gonna double check. Nope, okay. But that's really cute. Um, a little extra thing I wasn't expecting. So yeah, it's a gold little top and then gold foot stand. Um, I don't know if the doll comes with a red foot stand and gold ball, if they mix it up at all on that, or if it's still gonna be red. Let me show you guys the tissue paper as well. That's really pretty. And this you could definitely like keep. They come with um, a lot of this in these ball type. Like, you know, you never know, that might come in handy for uh, wrapping stuff, so let's see here. So I've got a little sticker. I think this is a little lantern. So this is Year of the Ox this year uh, in 2021. And I've got a little uh, picture of her. So definitely hope we get the doll to go with that sticker. We put all our stickers on our doll house. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. The bags are really cute too, the design. And it's not plastic, it does feel like it's paper. I like that. So we have the little um, like scarf that they give the pets. I don't think they really give those to the dolls, um, if I'm remembering correctly. Let's see if I'm another one. Do always be careful with bags, like kind of, I always put my like finger in to make sure there was nothing small, um, just so you don't accidentally throw anything away. So we've got these little red shoes that actually have two white flower details. My camera just doesn't want to focus because it's kind of tiny. So there are like a big flower and a little flower on each shoe. And you get four shoes uh, for pets uh, that have this kind of um, mold with the four legs. Let's see what's in here. This might be the bottle. Oh, cute. So I actually drink uh, what this is. Um, looking like uh, i forget what they're called but they come in little bottles and they're like kind of a kind of sweet like yogurt i think it's considered like um a really healthy like little yogurt thing to drink um i'm not totally positive on that but i have had them and they're really delicious you can find them at like walmart um where the yogurt is uh, but also the asian food stores will have those as well Let's see, I think we get cute, ooh yeah, cute bag. So that's really cute with little gold designs and red and black. Little kind of like coin purse uh, looking type bag. I think they've done that kind of bag, but not in those colors or designs. So this must be the pet. Let's see, ooh, and its head's off. <laughs> so, but usually it's pretty easy to pop that on. Very pretty. I like that it's like, okay, so I think it's like black on top and then they have like this gold 
paint that they obviously put over like a gold glittery paint and then it's red on the ends of its hair. I think the tot's gonna have this very same like hairdo. It's kind of the Sprint's hairdo, which is not my favorite hairdo, but I think it's very cute in the Lunar New Year uh, doll and pet. So she's got little gold bracelets on the bottoms of her feet. She's got udders and then cute flower gold designs, gold eyeshadow. She's got a little earring. She's got the barrettes that I think they painted in gold and she's got little red horns with white stripes. She's got cute details there on the back of this leg. Very, very cute. So of course there's no like checklist. So let's see what this says because I don't think these are color changers. Your little instruction bullet booklet will usually let you know. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the doll, um, who is just so cute, um, is gonna be a spitter and the pet should be a cry. And then they show you the foot stand. Um, I know I've <laughs> told friends on Instagram before, like, hey, like, don't th throw, you know, recycle that just yet. You might want the little foot stand. Um, you do have to kind of muscle it off sometimes. Sometimes it slips right off. Sometimes you have to, you almost feel like you're breaking it to get it off. So, and then I know she has a different sort of bottle. I'll be curious to see hers. So I'll definitely try to do a video once we get the doll. Target did already ship our replacement. So fingers crossed that the two they send, that at least one of those will be the doll. Ideally, if they send me two dolls, then I'll have an extra set that I can maybe uh, do a giveaway with, or if I have any friends that need them, because I do have some other friends who ordered as well, and so they're a little nervous of what Target's gonna send them. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, I will try, if I don't get a chance to video the doll, I'll definitely always put pictures on Instagram. I don't, I'm gonna try to look into more of like what I can do on YouTube. I see other channels are able to have like kind of community posts and even like stories. I don't know because we're made for kids if we're able to do some of that stuff. I'm not as like familiar with it, but if I can figure that out, I'll try to start doing more of that too. So thanks for watching, bye.